Yeah, what? Okay, one simply does not interrupt Max von Krieger, especially when he's in the one and only the Jagdpanzer E100. Hi everyone, it's Quickie Baby, and welcome back to World of Tanks. And today, I'm going to be trying to make the impossible possible. We're going to be presented with an in what appears to be an insurmountable problem in this game. We're going to try and solve it. And what better way to solve it than a big old 170 millimeter caliber gun and some of the thickest armor that's on any tank destroyer in the game. This is the tier 10 German tank destroyer, the Jagdpanzer E100. Not to be confused with an E100, which is currently top of the tree. This is pretty much like one of those, just missing the turret and strapping on an even bigger gun than you can get on that rather large caliber German heavy tank. The Jagdpanzer E100 hits for 1,050 per shot and it has good enough armor that unless your opponents have got tier 9 or tier 10 gold rounds, that they will struggle to be able to go through reliably. Just like that, a quick angle, and the VZ bounces the first shot, and then just decides to shoot the M48 A5 pattern on my team instead. You know your armor's good when autoloaders just decide, ah, I'm not going to waste my mag, and they, dump, so they, dump, they start dumping the rounds on other tanks. Now, I'd rather he shot me and bounced off than start to deal with my M48, because, as I'm trying to suggest, with the, the title of this video, uh, I really wish the M48 would keep all of his hit points to be able to try and get through this one. Alright, this is the perfect scenario for a Jagdpanzer E100. Heavy tank with, albeit, a double barrel gun versus a German tank destroyer with not a double barrel gun, but will hit harder with a single shot than that Soviet heavy tank will with two. And I smell weakness. All right, I've got to take the opportunity. Comes around, maybe he'll put one more into me. He does. Now he's reloading. He's ruined his DPM. And I can be able to do 1,050 for the 440 that I should receive from the ST2. Now my faithful friend in the M48 A5 pattern is going to go around the corner to try and get some more rounds on the ST2. He's going to miss his shot. I'm trying to get round him. And oh dear, there's an FP405 on the enemy team. And just like that, we are in a... A very awkward scenario here. I got about 20 seconds to try and deliver another shell before the FV4005 reloads, and I decided to try and make my M48 at least reasonably useful in this scenario and use their wreck. And I'm going to use intuition here to switch to a high explosive round because I was expecting the FV4005 to come back around the corner, but alas, it wasn't to be. And slowly but surely, we are down six tanks, we are down 5,000 hit points, and I really don't feel like there was much more I could have done in this situation. Unfortunately, the FV405 comes around the corner, dubs a shell at one of my allies, and I no longer have the high explosive round to be able to deal with them. And in this kind of situation, I was just thinking, well, maybe I can at least get a shot or two into them and try and get myself into a corner where I can't get flanked, but still also be in a position to deliver shells. So I'm going to try and wait for that FV4005 to crest over this ridgeline because I expect that he doesn't care if he's on full hit points and he's a game where he's up on six tanks and 6,000 HP. This high explosive round should do on average 1,400 to the FV4005. And let's be honest, is there anything more satisfying than that? Where I spend like 1,000, 1,500 credits to do as much damage as an FV4005 would deal with the 8,000, albeit a little bit more. And oh dear, here we go. Five seconds left on the cap, thinking I was going to have the worst game in World of Tanks history. But maybe I'll just put in one more shell. Actually, they've reset the cap. A little bit of an opportunity. 60 TP whiffs into my tracks and tries to get my side. And Okay, a full health 2,600 Amorak. And suddenly, this game looks like it's actually interesting once again. Now, I can't do anything about the TNH 51 behind me. But what I can do is be able to go after this FP405. However, now the situation changes. The VZ-51 takes an artillery shell, which means that I'm not so interested in dealing with the FV-405 who's reloading, and I feel like I want to go after the TNH VZ-51, otherwise I'm really not going to be able to get him off the butt of my tank, and thanks to the artillery for helping me out there. So we turn round, deal with the TNH VZ-51, and now it's just a case of hoping that I don't allow the premium rounds from the FV-405 to do so much damage to my tank, and he's gonna probably get me, but... Okay, he ricochets 1,750 damage absorbed by my mantlet from the panic of this Jagdpanzer E100 getting the gun on target. And I'm trying to fire, but I can't fire because I'm in a bizarre situation where my gun is actually inside the enemy tank. And they're slightly above me, meaning that it kind of creates this underwater effect in World of Tanks if any of you have tried to fire your gun underwater. And so I wasn't able to deal with him. But luckily for me, the GW Tiger on my team 
puts in another shell and I guess saves me against the FV4005 or saves some more of my hit points. As we could see, I was actually doing collision damage with the FV4005 being on top. So now it is me and a GW Tiger against eight vehicles on the enemy team and they're taking the cap circle. I've got 443 hit points. Let's see what I can do with it. I was so happy to get through that one versus three scenario and now be up to 6,000 damage. Sure, I got lucky against the 60 TP, but if, um, if, if I lost every time I got lucky, then I wouldn't be winning very many games. Ugh. Got their module. Congrats, Max von Krieger. You missed a thousand damage there against a one to one, and he finishes off our artillery. And this one versus eight scenario begins now. All right, well, lo and behold, T30 appears, and on 976 hit points, so I'm pretty much about a 60 or 65% chance of being able to take this vehicle out in a single shot, as long as they do expose themselves. So they actually end up ricocheting off my hull. You see that I turned my tank in to improve my arm, and I'm going to give myself as long as I possibly can to aim, and then derp around right through what looked like the mantlets of the T-30. So I'm worried about the 121 getting in behind me, but here comes a Type 61. I'm going to bait him backwards, lurch forwards with my bounty turbo on this vehicle to shut him down in between my reloads. And now I think what's going to happen is that E-75, he probably thought that I fired at the Type 61, thinking that I'm going to be reloading in this scenario. Mate, I wasn't reloading. I actually ram killed the Type 61 and suddenly our one versus eight has now changed to being a one versus five. They've reset the cap circle once. Let's just hope they're going to reset the cap circle again. And we, can we also take a moment to appreciate we're on 8,000 damage here. I only need 2,000 more to be able to get 10k for the first time. I've done 9,000 so many times this year so far, but never quite the magic 10k. So we actually set the 1 2 1 on fire. We bounce another shell from them. We're going to turn our tank in and hopefully we're going to be able to get this one to one. But oh dear, I make it quite awkward because actually the turret of the 60 TP behind me was trolling me. Can you believe the 60 TP turret stopping my vehicle from being able to uh, get around there? And three, two, one. Well, at least I don't die to artillery. And just about the 7772 is there. Come on, baby, extend the game. Oh. Well, yeah, I guess it truly was the Im impossible comeback, boys and girls. But from going from a thousand damage dealt in this game up to 9,700 and still having a few hit points left to make the four remaining players on the enemy team sweat enough that they wanted to cap this one out, I can't blame them. I managed to reduce their numbers in this one versus eight by half, and I really wish I'd been given an opportunity to keep giving it a go. How amazing does the Jagdpanzer E100 feel? I don't usually have fun in my defeats. I, I don't think I, I would have blood left if I wasn't enjoying a game like this, even if it was a defeat. Sure, I would have loved to have had an opportunity to hit 10k for the first time and possibly get what, what could be one of the greatest Call of Annals medals I've ever seen, but well played to the RU251 for capping that one out. It was definitely the correct thing to do in the situation, considering how hot my RNG was running. And while we don't get the win, we get ourselves possibly one of the greatest consolation prizes that you can get, and that was our third mark of excellence on our Jagdpanzer E100, giving us a high caliber for the 9,771 damage that we dealt, a steel wall medal for blocking 4,500 damage enough to kill this vehicle a couple of times over, and a top gun for our six kills. And we even managed to make a decent amount of credits profit, because I wasn't slamming too many heat rounds in this scenario. And trust me, when you're penetrating high explosive rounds for 1,400 damage against an FV405. That's some good stuff. I also remember looking at the post-game stats in-game, and I'd managed to kill the FV4005's gunner, which is probably one of the reasons why they were having such a tough time being able to take us out in that game. Anyway, ladies and gents, boys and girls, that was it for today, and that was yet another 9,000 damage game that was so close to 10k in 2022. If, if I keep playing as much as I am, I, I think I'll hopefully get there eventually. Anyway, I hope you loved this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. And if you're watching this video as it's released on Sunday, I'm going to be showcasing the entirety of the American Light 
tanks later today on twitch.tv forward slash quickie baby so if you enjoyed my masterclass video yesterday and you want to have some tips to be able to work your way up towards the tank or you just want to see me play the sheridan a little bit then come along right now and i'll be playing the entirety of the american light tank tank tree and so really looking forward to seeing you as many of you as possible on twitch.tv forward slash quickie baby and as always thank you so much for watching you've been epic and hopefully i'll see you soon